How's it going, people? Just finishing a little bit of this. Just doing some videos in the park earlier. Yeah. I figured I, I've been neglecting this book. And I really do want to finish. Yeah, got a ways to go. Section 60 of Doctrine and Covenants. Revelation given through Joseph Smith, the prophet, in Jackson County, Missouri, August 8th, 1831. The occasion was that of the elders who had been appointed to return to the East, desiring to know how they should proceed and by what route and manner they should travel. Reproof for those who neglect to use their talents and who fail to testify of the knowledge they have received. Specific instructions as to the return of elders to Ohio. Others yet to arrive in Zion are to return proclaiming the word of God. One, behold, Thus saith the Lord unto the elders of his church, who are to return speedily to the land from whence they came. Behold, it pleaseth me that you have come up hither. Two, but with some I am not well pleased, for they will not open their mouths. But they hide uh, the talent which I have given unto them because of the fear of men, the man. Woe unto such, for mine anger is kindled against them. Three, and it shall come to pass. I did not see that coming. single malt. <sighs> Pure delight. Now oh. Mm. Oh, that's the spirit. If they are not more faithful unto me, it shall be taken away, that talent they finally got. There's no talent fucks even that which they have. So they're going to even take away the talent they already had. Wow. You guys better start saying the right things. Or at least be seen saying them. For, for I, the Lord, rule in the heavens above, and among the armies of the earth, and in the day when I shall make up my jewels, all men shall know what it is that bespeaketh the power of God. Five, but verily, I will speak unto you concerning your journey into the land from which you came. Let there be a craft made or bought as seemeth you good, it mattereth not to me, and take your journey speedily for the place which is called St. Louis. Six, and from thence let my servants, Sidney Ridgeton, Joseph Smith Jr., and Oliver Cowdery, take their journey from Cincinnati. Seven, and in this place let them lift up their voice to declare my word with loud voices, without wrath or doubting, lifting up holy hands upon them, for I am able to make you holy, and your sins are forgiven you. No more guilt for you. Eight. 
and let the residue take their journey from St. Louis two by two and preach the word, not in haste, among the congregations of the wicked, until they return to the churches from whence they came. Nine, and all this for the good of the churches. For this intent have I sent them. Ten, and let my servant Edward Partridge impart of the money which I have given him, a portion unto mine elders, who are commanded to return. Eleven, and he that is not able, let him return it by the way of the agent, and he that is not of him, it is not required. Twelve, and now I speak of the residue who are come unto this land. Thirteen, behold, they have been sent to preach my gospel among the congregations of the wicked. Therefore, I give unto them a commandment thus, Thou shalt not idle away thy time, neither shalt thy, thou bury thy talent, that it might may not be known. Don't be hiding your light under a bushel or some shit. Fourteen. And after thou hast come up unto the land of Zion, and hast proclaimed my word, thou shalt speedily, re speedily return, proclaiming my word among the congregations of the wicked, not in haste, neither in wrath nor in strife, like you just said in thirteen, I think it was, or somewhere. Uh, Fifteen, and shake off the dust of thy feet <coughs> against those who receive thee not. Not in their presence, lest thou provoke them, but in secret, like a chicken shit, <laughs> and wash thy feet as a testimony against them in the day of judgment. But you're not judging anybody now by shaking your sh shoes off. Sixteen. Behold, this is sufficient for them and the will of him who hath sent you. Seventeen. And by the mouth of my servant, Joseph Smith, Jr., it shall be known, it shall be made known concerning Sidney Ridgedon and Oliver Calvary, the residue hereafter, even so. Amen. And that's it for 60, and that's about all I can stand. <coughs> I was going to do another, but uh -uh. let me know if you learned something. It seemed to be kind of a muddle there. Not much substance there. But if you learn something that I missed, I sure hope you'll share. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. I'm having a blast myself. <laughs>